Yesterday, I had the pleasure of interviewing uh, Inc. 5000 award winner who provides services to the United States federal government. Uh, his name is Mark Masters. And Mark, uh, believe it or not, actually fights wildfires for a living. He was the National Young Entrepreneur of the Year, and his business is actually fighting wildfires. So Mark's team is a solution provider to the United States government and helping with disaster relief and emergencies. But the reason why I came on today was to share uh, what Mark said about 8A. He is a tribal company, a Cherokee Nation, very proud member. And uh, when he first had his business, uh, one of his initial ideas, uh, part of his strategy was to become 8A certified. But I'll let, you, I'll let Mark say it in his own words, uh, what he thinks about getting 8A certification now too early. To start building out the infrastructure to be a stable and growing small business. Wow. Wow. Um, would you say that that's uh, been your, helped you to grow the most, that those particular 8A sole source contracts? You know, we've had a couple slingshot moments over the last 10 years, but yeah, I'd say that was definitely the largest one in terms of, you know, having that volume of work, um, you know, dropped in our lap, which, it, you know, it didn't fall out of thin air. We had been working that for about 18 to 24 months on the backside to, to try and get that work. So it wasn't like it just magically happened by any means. But yeah, getting, getting that work gave us some stability and it gave us an opportunity to start building out some infrastructure to actually be poised to grow. So let's, can we just for clarity's sake, you were, uh, you got, you received your 8A certification in 2011? Yeah, it's about to expire. I, I wish we had more time <laughs> meant to, you know, utilize it to the greatest extent we can um, in the next 11 months here. Okay. And then you received your first major or what you call substantial contract in 2016? Correct. So five years later. Correct. And, 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 and the reason why I say that is because a lot of people, I believe, uh, want to go out and get 8A before they have any past performance, before they've done any experience. What would you say has been your experience? And, and like you said, you just, I heard you just say you wish you had it longer. Do mm -hmm. you wish you had got it later? I, I do. And I've heard you talk about this I think, <laughs> in the podcast before. And, and you're right. You know, like, so at the outset, that was part of our business model, you know, from the beginning, which was, we're going to get our 8A. We're going to get our hub zone. We're, we're going to get our DOTDB. We're, um, we're native owned and we're going to leverage that proudly to the greatest extent we can. Well, um, you know, what you find, and, and you've said this yourself, Eric, and a lot of people told, told me this, um, that you, you've got a finite number of years in the 8A program and you're going to burn those early years trying to build the relationships, right. learn how to do business with the federal government, and you're going to look back in the latter years of the program and wish you had just waited a few more years to get certified. And, right. and um, I can't tell you how true that is, you know, and, and, and I remember hearing that when we were applying and we had just gotten it and I thought, man, that's ridiculous. Why would you not want to get it as quickly as possible and use it to grow your business? But, um, but now, you know, coming out the backside nine, 10 years later, nine years later, I, I get it. It makes sense. You know, there, there's a reason that people have that advice. And so, you know, that would be my advice. You know, now if there's someone out there that's either about to apply for their 8A is applying, um, you know, if, if you've already gotten it, you know, good on you, but it's, it's too late. The clock's ticking. Um, it never hurts to get another year or two of past performance under your belt, grow your business, build out the infrastructure so that you can really make the most of those nine years you do have in the program. Wow. Thank you for that. No, I, and, and again, I, you know, I have the luxury and the privilege. I have a platform now, right? So I can talk to all kinds of people from different diverse experiences and backgrounds all over the country. Uh, in fact, all over the world now. And it just, again, it's a theme that keeps. And so as you can see, um, we've continued having the same conversation, but uh, what I want to share just was that, let Mark say it in his own words. And I, and it was just fascinating to me because he, he also is a listener of the podcast. And um, that's why he said he had heard me say it before. And now um, it's coming for full circle. So, again, uh, you know, I'm not the only one out there saying to people, uh, wait until you have some experience. Wait until you start getting some contracts and you get the rhythm going. Wait until uh, you start uh, developing relationships with agencies before you decide to go out and embark on the 8A. I receive calls every week from 8A contractors that are 
or non-performing or underperforming or not achieving their potential. And it's because they didn't build out that base uh, in the beginning before they got started. They went out and, and used or, or thought they could use the 8A to build that foundation, to build that base and, and the vice versa. The opposite is actually true. Uh, thanks. As always, I hope that this video helped you in some way, shape or form.